Hey guys, I'm Lucas, welcome to KNews episode 23 about the upcoming Ariane 5 launch. In its center is its cryogenic main stage, which basically stands for a super cooled liquid fuel. The majority of its 13,000 kN of thrust comes from its massive strap on boosters. To put it into perspective, that would be enough to lift 1,000 cars. Ariane 5 weighs only the half of it, which means you could basically strap on half the mountain and it, and it would still go up. On the upper stage is the payload, which are two satellites separated by such a bell-shaped cover. The bigger one sits on top directly under the main fairing, which is 17 meters tall. The launch is scheduled for the day 4.34 pm Eastern Time and will take place in Kourou, French Guiana, which lies in South America, near the Amazon River. The rocket will climb vertically for 13 seconds, where it will begin its pitch program followed by a roll maneuver at t plus 17 seconds. Ariane will head eastwards to bring both satellites into a geostationary transfer orbit. As the name suggests, such an orbit transfers both satellites into geostationary altitudes, where they will perform their final burns on their own. The upper and bigger satellite is Badr 7, or Arabsat 6B. It weighs almost 6 tons and will be placed 26 degrees east over Africa, from where it will deliver telecommunication services for the Middle East, Central Asia and of course Africa. It is built by Airbus Defense and Space for the Saudi Arabian satellite communication company Arabsat. The smaller of the two is GSAT-15, which will be launched for the Indian Space Research Organization. It weighs approximately 3 tons and will place itself at 93.5 degrees east, which is above the Indian Ocean. From there it will cover India not only with communication services, but also Gaga navigation. What? Yes, Gagan stands for GPS Aided Geo Augmented Navigation, which produces three geostationary satellites combined with regular GPS to further increase its accuracy. This shall help planes in the Indian airspace to navigate through rough weather conditions and pave the way for the future Indian regional navigation satellite system, which will no longer rely on GPS. Both satellites will be operational within weeks, and their lifespan is limited to around 15 years for Badr 7 and 12 years for GSAT 15 due to the limited amount of fuel they need to hold their positions. Before they run out of propellant, they will be lifted into a so called graveyard orbit, which lies roughly 300 km higher, and to achieve that, they have to change their velocity by only 11 meters per second. Okay, feel free to share additional information if you know more about it. I don't exactly know how popular these satellites are, but I can imagine GSAT-15 for example to be very important for India. Just in case you wonder, India has its own geostationary launch vehicle, but the current generation can only lift 2.5 tons into orbit which is roughly 500 kg too little. But that will change with the upgraded Mark III, which will launch the first payload into orbit in 2017. That was KNews episode 23 about Ariane 5. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.